Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. If you're new here and it's your first time stopping by, hello, my name's Tara and on my channel I like to talk about all things sewing, vintage inspired and DIY style. If you're a returner, if you've enjoyed hanging out with me before and you've come back, hello again, I hope you've had an amazing week and you've managed to get some creative loveliness done. In today's video, I want to talk about something really exciting. I'm excited and it's not sewing, but it is making and it's it's about what I'm wearing on my head. Uh, I've developed this knitting pattern called the Vintage Tassel Beret uh, because it has a tassel on it. And I wanted to talk to you all about that. So if you're into knitting and it's one of your many superpowers, then hang around. So, one of the things that I'm doing at the moment is I'm developing a range of patterns and resources for the home sewer um, under the sort of the, the, the tagline of making and creating your vintage inspired wardrobe. I'm very lucky in that I sew and I make for a living and I also teach so I wanted to do something that put both of those together and it's been a dream of mine for many years to do this. So at the moment I have um, two skirt patterns and then this beret. I'm aware that I need to do something to wear on the top, otherwise we're, you know, gonna be walking around a little bit underdressed. Warm heads, warm, you know, bottoms, but a little risque. Based on a vintage knitting pattern that I found in my late mother's stash. And she was a milliner at the end of her life and she made lots of velvet berets and would applique and embroider beautifully on them. And um, one of her favorite songs was Raspberry Beret by Prince. I have written a blog post about this, which I'll link, link below. Um, and so this pattern means a huge amount to me. And it's one of those ones that I would always knit them for friends at Christmas, especially Christmas, they make really good gifts. So this is my updated version. And it's, so it's inspired by um, my mother and also by Dita Von Tees for the um, tassels. And um, you know, I'm sure you get that. Uh, so the, here is the, the booklet. This is available as a booklet and as a PDF download. And I've also put together some kits, which I want to show you. They're very limited edition because I only have a few of each of the colors. Um, but they're all available on my website, which I've just literally rejigged, relaunched, and I'm super happy with it. So do check it out if you, you know, if you want to. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased. So here's the booklet, and there's all the, you know, the instructions. And on the back is how to make the tassel. I worked again with my lovely ex student, Charlotte Rose Illustrations. She did this gorgeous vintage inspired illustration of a, a, a Mildred head mannequin um, wearing the red red beret. So yeah, super, I love it, absolutely. So thrilled with it and it just is just absolutely brilliant. I love it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you was the one of the kits, the colorways. So, the the inspiration behind the limited edition kits which is an idea that i want to sort of continue uh inspired by the season and for me autumn is really all about halloween and you know all those dark corners and um all my films that i loved watching when i grew up was growing up so i loved all the hammer horror films and i loved the original dracula with bella lugosi and you know basically everything to do with that sort of, I'm not really into horror, like slasher, whatever horror, but I really love all those classic, um, traditional horror stories like, you know, The Wolfman and Dracula and Frankenstein and so on. So these colors have been completely inspired by Halloween-y type things. So I just wanted to quickly run through each of the colours and uh, just to share it with you. Next one is uh, this colour which is a lovely deep claret and I've called it Vampire's Kiss because it reminds me of the um, colour of dried blood. This is probably a little bit macabre and a bit 
weird, but you know, this is how my brain works. Maybe I'm just quite a macabre person. Uh, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, Vampire's Kiss. And in the kit you get um, the ball of wool. I'll insert some pictures here. And I actually don't have a sample of this because this, this particular beret has gone to my local lovely um, sewing and knitting supply shop, Jacobs, and there that's where I'm selling it um, in, a, in a bricks and mortar shop. But otherwise this is all available on the website. You also get the um, leaflet and you get one of my postcards, these ones here, so that you can make the, the tassel. So that's the first the one. The next one is this very vintagey pale blush pink. And here's, this is what it looks like in the kit. I hadn't prepared the other one. So this is what it looks like in the kit. Um, and it's inspired quite obviously cat's tongue by the colour of my cat's tongue. So I have two black cats, Loki and Missy, and um, yeah, they're, they've got their sweet little pink tongues. And um, you know, no self-respecting witch would be without a lucky black cat, or a cat, or many cats. This one that I'm wearing is also a sort of burgundy claret um, base, but it's a tweed knit and upside down um, and this one's called Witch's Brew uh, I'm not sure if you can see but um, it, it's got this lovely base and then it's got all these flecks of beautiful colours and they're actually little flecks that match a lot of the the other colours so we've got like a little bit of cat's tongue we've got a little bit of the colourway shocking which I will show you um, there's a lovely orange in here, which I don't have a kit for that, and a lovely blue, and I'm on the lookout for blue. But um, it's really, really gorgeous, and it, it knits beautifully. This one has um, is a wool and synthetic blend, but I literally only have four of these kits on the site. So, and when they're gone, they got I can't um, replace this colour. So, um, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous one, which makes me think of all the all those ingredients that a witch would put into her cauldron to make love potions. This very, very pale, misty colour grey, I've called Spooky. Um, and here it is made up for the kit. Um, again, this one again is a synthetic blend. Uh, it just put me in mind of the, you know, the mists that sort of are curling around gravestones and graveyards and all the sort of the spooky things that could be lurking there. Last but not least is this amazing vibrant bright shocking pink. Um, here's the kit, here's the colour, it's it's so fabulous. I've been reading a lot about and doing a lot of research on Elska Schiaparelli and the the pink that she used or you know invented she called shocking and I think um, it's, you know, perfect. It is perfectly shocking. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, red wools for the kits at the moment, but I am looking around and I think I'll call this one Bleeding Heart. Um, and it's the one that's illustrated on here. So the kits come with this, the postcard, the wool, and they're 11 .95 each. There's sort of 10 of some, four of, some and when they're gone they're, they're probably gone really um and another one that i'm about to sort of put the kits together you can see here on it'll be a like a two-headed person is this one which i'm calling night work you don't know if you can see that it's got all this shiny it's a black base with all this shiny um and i'm re-watching penny dreadful at the moment i don't know if you've seen the series but i'm watching um, I'm on the third and final series and Vanessa Ives, the, one of the main characters in it, sort of employs another character and says, are you available for some night work? And um, my daughter pointed out that that sounded like prostitution, but actually it's not. It's about um, vampire slaying. But we don't want to slay vampires, do we? We, we want to be nice to them. Those are all the colours available, but of course you can just download the pattern that's £2.15, or you can just buy the leaflet, which is, I have to look, so I don't remember, um, at £2.45, 
and you um, plus postage and packing obviously um, and you can just do them in any color way that you like I, I mean I literally want to knit them in every single color it takes me about you know I put on a good film and I've mostly knitted a whole beret um, in an evening and I'm not sure that I'm that quick because I'm not the most advanced knitter but I just I found it really helpful over the last um, few months I've been working on this all through lockdown um, and I find that knitting is really cathartic and really helpful when I, I feel stressed so I now actually have my knitting by my bed so if I wake up in the night I can just do a little bit and I, I find it really soothing and I think it's really important to have things like that in in your life. My aim is to have a whole collection of you know patterns for all sorts of items of clothing, accessories, knitting patterns, um, you know, stash busters, all sorts of things, some free and available via my blog journal over on the website, some, you know, that you pay for, that you download and so on. Um, it's, it's something that I'm just very slowly building up and, and working towards. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at um, my new my new pattern and if you're um wanting to make it i really hope you do and please let me know send me pictures tag me on instagram my name is at tara dayton atelier over there uh, a couple of people have already bought it and um the kits are starting to sell so i'm really looking forward to seeing what you do and what colors you use uh it's um you know really exciting for me to see people you know take what I've done and, and make them it, it's just such a thrill if you've enjoyed today's video please like subscribe share with your friends let me know what you think uh, it's you know really lovely to to have you around on my sewing creative knitting adventures I hope you have an amazing week next week I'm actually away on holiday but I am filming a you know a couple of things so do check back there'll be some some content hopefully that you enjoy next week and the week after but until then have an amazing time and keep safe and well see you soon my lovelies bye